Hi guys, so as promised, we're back and hoping that we can connect with Dr. Talbai. Today we're talking about, of course, screen time and its impact, the pandemic and its impact on our children's behavior. Dr. Talbai, thank you so much for chatting with us today. I know it's a really, really busy time. And, uh, and, and really, your confidence in me and Kids Stop Press is very reassuring each time we chat. Through the last one year, we've had multiple experiences of mothers talking about child not wanting to go down to play, anger, um, you know, social distancing in a way that they don't want to hang around with their parents. They're okay, the parents are going down for a walk, but the child doesn't want to go. Extreme t- temper tantrums, uh, you know, no relationship with food, etc. And she said, I just had to go cold turkey. I mean, one of the mothers said, I could just go, go cold turkey. And, you know, the, the child, th- it's, it's literally like, and I know you've said this, right? Like screen time for kids is as good as giving them narcotics. But, and, and that line has kind of stayed uh, with me. But I'm is, glad. This, is, is this really the kind of behavior you've seen through the last one year? And, and what's the line that parents need to draw? Because uh, there's education. And there's the and there is screen time. So both of those, if you can share with us, it's important not to mix the two. Though right now, situ- in the in the situation, we have to, but let's not allow business uh, uh, entrepreneurs to utilize this as the new normal. It's right. not. It's a situation we have to deal with. It war can never be the new normal. A pandemic can never be the new normal. Don't let marketeers fool you into that. Because we have no choice. We can't send the kids down. Because the world has changed suddenly. It's a very threatening situation for children. And what we are trying to tell people is, read my article in the Indian Pediatrics Journal. There is a new epidemic which is following the first epidemic of mental health illness, of psychosocial impact on children, on all children. Because the situation around is alarming and scary to children who don't really are mature enough to understand that this will go away. Because of that could be one reason why even the kids don't want to go down. There are kids who are so worried, they will never take off their masks. And in fact, we are seeing children coming to us now with anxiety. Older children. Now, I'm specifically focusing about children below three years of age. Yeah. They were anyway not going to go down to play so much. Or they were anyway not needed to be seen exposed to screens for studies. What is the logic in showing them screens? Because okay. somebody comes and tells you that you have a black hat or a gray hat or a pink hat engineer. If you do that at six months, your child is going to be a coder or a decoder or an encoder or whatever you may have. It's ridiculous. You don't need this. Till the first early childhood development, as we say, ECD, first thousand days after birth also, the child needs to have nurturing care. That's the theme of the Indian Academy of Pediatrics. What is nurturing care? Good health which I'm sure all the people at least watching this podcast or what you call this are giving their child. Good nutrition, I'm sure all of us have more than good nutrition. It's then responsive parenting. What do you mean by responsive parenting? Interacting with your child, playing with your child, allowing your child to have time with you and you with the child. Not being an Einsteinian teacher. You don't have to prepare the child for giving the IIT, JEE or the NEET exam at the age of 21 and a half months. You don't need to teach. And coming back to the issue of autism, the child who had poor interaction does not learn social behaviors very well, does not learn nonverbal very well. And if he doesn't learn nonverbal, he's unlikely to learn verbal very well. So instead of bringing up the earlier milestones, you're only loading him with speech. He is going to by heart it or you know, it's a kind of a recorder and he's going to repeat it. That's what we call echolalia. <laughs> Because anxiety will make him say that again and again and again. Mama bolo, papa bolo, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, Jack and Jill. He's going to keep repeating it as a recorder. It's like a child can't sit. Ideally, he should sit, then stand, then walk, and then run. And by he should run by three years of age. But somebody's child is not sitting by two or three years of age. He should sit. So you get him to some Milka Singh classes and make him run. What's going to happen to his legs? Milka Singh Ji, please forgive me, I don't intend this against you. But others who are doing this, what will happen to his right. legs? When he's not sitting, you make him walk, they're going to be weakened and damaged for life. And then you say, okay, accept it. Because, you know, he always had a problem. So let's keep him in this special bubble I referred to earlier. This is a, what do I say, conspiracy? It's ridiculous. 
go step by step make the child sit then stand then walk he will run without you being bothered you don't want to work on his sitting and standing but you want to train him forcibly on running is disastrous get the child to interact with you play with you enjoy with you non verbally just being yeah. with you usko ek urdu mein hindi mein word hai ehsaas usko ehsaas hona chahiye ki mere ird gird mere pyare log hain ehsaas is enough then he will learn social behavior then non verbal actions then he will pick up speech do not teach speech how many of us went to you know some particular training for speech when we are 2 years old please ask your mother and father if they sent you anywhere no we watched <laughs> we grew step by step we saw yeah. things around us and we picked up are pani do we saw when somebody said that somebody went and got a glass of water Absolutely. so we realized pani matlab wo la ke dena hai to bolna padta hai pani do that's how you learn language you are not forced right. to learn. okay sit down today it will sit in this corner and will practice today's speech pani do bolo pani do pani do pani do pani do child sits in the corner looks at the wall and says pani do is that what you are trying to train the kid it's ridiculous right um i am giving doctor, my private practice ask... away yeah i'm no, giving no, my I'm, private I'm... practice away because if people do this they don't need to come to me my practice is over i'll have to ask you for a job <laughs> <laughs> but i mean it i said so this intentionally much. because if you do this your child will get better that's why i intended course, it a little dramatically of course uh, i have to ask you this question that there is there is um, preventive and then there is cure right now we there are some parents who made the mistake okay the kids have been exposed earlier on to screen and now they're facing the consequences what's the remedy like how do you like what are the things that your child will do in terms of tantrums i won't eat food i won't do this i won't do that and how does a parent combat that there is a ridiculous myth again perpetuated that don't hurt your child don't hurt your child's feelings he should not get hurt he should not hear the word no i mean who are you unless you belong to the first family of uh, the most richest family in the country or the world even in their family can you assure your child will never be disappointed he will never be hurt yeah. of course this is life everybody's feelings will be hurt let the child start very early in life getting his feelings hurt so he understands that boss i have to compromise in life this is normal social behavior if your child says i will not eat if you don't give me food he is a blackmailer which means his intelligence is beyond you more than you you have to show your age also and not get fooled by this and say i'm smarter than you let me see how long you don't eat you have to call the bluff you have to use your 30 35 year old intelligence against that of a 3 year old how tough can that be don't right. bother if he cries it's good if he cries lungs get better exercise for lungs it's okay if he bangs his head somewhere he'll bang once next time he'll never bang he needs to know that you can be cruel he needs to know your child needs to know that you can be cruel if it is for his or her good Now, I'm not yeah. saying apply it at 25 years old when he wants to marry the girl of his choice. That's at 25 years. At 2.5 years, you certainly know better. Your child doesn't know better than you at 2.5 years. You know better, and you need to say, "Jo karna hai karo," because if there are no audience in the theater, the actor does not perform drama. So, if your child, you want to get your child off the drama, tell him, "I'm not giving this to you. You can do what you like and walk out of the room." the trouble is when you do this for the first time at 13 years of age because then your child will threaten you with self harm and then you are in a soup then you need to come to me i can't tell you on the uh, chat what to do that's a serious problem so start at the time when he's 2 years old say no tv rona ro do what you want to do because at that time there limited scope to harm you or him or himself the child has limited scope to either harm the parent or himself at 2 and a half 3 years that's the time you should realize everything may life may nahi milta hai mama says no tv end of the story no tv she is the home minister if your child says i want alcohol if you don't give me alcohol i won't eat food will you do that will you give alcohol at 3 years i i need a smoke otherwise i'm not going to have my dinner will you provide smoke so to all those people who have this great argument ki how can i say no i can't stop my child my answer is will you give narcotics will you give cigarettes will you give alcohol no Why? नहीं नहीं डॉक्टर वो बुरा है मतलब टीवी दिखाना आप सोचते हैं अच्छा है दिस इज द पॉइंट यू थिंक इट्स ओके इफ यू थिंक इट्स ओके नो डॉक्टर दलवाई के 
वैल्यू वर्ड्स को कुछ वैल्यू है नहीं देन यू डू वॉट यू वॉन्ट इफ यू थिंक इट्स नॉट ओके जस्ट टेक इट अवे इट्स a very costly phone the child is not going to earn it and when he earns it let him use it and what is the impact of the pandemic on strangers anxiety for babies and toddlers yeah it's bound to be there uh, because what is stranger anxiety let's understand that stranger right. anxiety means a child has enough social interaction and social consciousness to know that ye mere wale log hain i'm safe with them aur ye unknown hai i don't know whether i'll be safe or not so i don't want to take a risk i better stay away because he's a stranger and i need to be worried this typically happens around 8 9 10 months of age but it doesn't mean that in life today if i see a stranger and if i have reason to believe that that stranger is scary i will be anxious so stranger anxiety situationally is not wrong if you look at today's situation in the pandemic where they have it people aren't seeing many people around because we are all stuck up at home it's not wrong to display that stranger's anxiety so your question is correct then what do you do are kuch nahi hota hai beto uske sath that's wrong if somebody is anxious and afraid don't force them don't give them bravado sit with them theek hai i am there with you you know call that aunty inside or uncle inside uncle you stand a little away ha huh? don't come very close to us right now but we are standing here so bahu you okay see so, uncle i know him or aunty i know her aunty you've come here for something what is it what is the purpose blah 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 You are establishing a reason for the interaction. Kid Junior is watching. After some time, Junior relaxes. That is the way to deal with anxiety. Right, right. We have uh, a couple of other questions. That um, so, what are the options we can do to make things interesting other than scream? Dimple, the way is an expert in that. She can tell you herself because I know her very well. So the options are age appropriate. if it's a small baby it he needs the physical care and the physical you know being with you and things like that as the child grows older he develops fine motor skills he develops a little bit of independence so you can give them some board games the you can have interactive games like playing cricket or playing football i mean not very professionally just kicking it around or whatever my point is as far as possible try and play games which are interactive between each other like if i mean i would rather throw the ball to the kid and have the kid throw the ball back at me i'm playing with the kid If a kid is in the corner throwing the ball in, against the wall and catching it, that's dangerous because then he's only playing with the objects. So I'd rather have him play with me. But all of us are busy. We all need to do housework. My yes. suggestion to all parents is get your child involved with your housework because that's one place where you can keep interacting and talking, communicating with him while work is going on. So get your kids right. into the kitchen, especially the boys, and get them to help you with the work. that's where you can interact and speak and communicate with them and at the same time he's also busy you're busy aapka bhi kaam ho raha hai do all that i right. won't take one question yeah uh, mansi yeah. yeah. uh, somebody asked my sister's only son is 2.8 years old how can we help him to speak more clearly ab tak to theek hai but she adds and soon this is gadbad yeah. the sooner you try to get somebody to speak speech is a very complicated uh, achievement of only humans on this planet even apes can't speak so give that time the child that time and comfort of speaking at his pace if you try to hasten it acha aise bolo acha waise bolo acha ye mat karo wo mat you are clearly making the child lose his confidence and you are bringing in anxiety stammering will be the first thing that will happen or echo le liya repetition I mean, if I turn around, there's a tiger. I'll say, "Tut tut 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 tiger." That's normal. That's anxiety. That's what we are doing. So there is no reason to do anything to help him speak soon. What you could do is, you could speak more clearly to each other in the house. You could use more gestures while speaking to your people in the house. You remember, Mansi Shalya Chitravani used to come on Durdarshan Good Old Days. How they used to overact while speaking. They were teaching us to speak English, yeah. so they yeah. would speak very slowly. clearly and they would action out everything animate everything with gestures that's what you need to do in the house be Gee. calm and everybody in the house speak clearly and softly to each other not to the child or don't at least don't make the child repeat that to you you right. speak slowly clearly loudly use a lot of actions with each other your child will pick up doctor somebody here asked on uh, when you mentioned about we are never willing to say no and we are overcompensating on everything and she said 
are we even over supplementing our kids i want to i want to ask you that are we over supplementing on what on nutrition like we saying ye supplement de do you know everybody is like at it with the zinc and the vitamin c and we are you know trying to overdo everything right now um, clearly, i love to get your take yes i we think are. clearly we are i think the child who eats whatever is a wholesome indian meal because indian meals traditionally indian meals will have do do sabzi and ek uh, one or two dals and the chapati bhi hai rice bhi hai achar bhi hai pickle bhi hai papad bhi hai it basically the wider the dish you have when you have those colors you know the um, the saffron and the greens yeah. and the yellows the dals and everything else so typically if you follow that i think all the nutrients that you need do go into your meal on top of that if you want to buy and give some a child a fortification or one some tablet or multivitamin that's okay but the level to which people are taking it now is not really okay because you are just being anxious yourself and you're passing this anxiety on to your kids so there's no harm in going for good food and reading a little bit about nutrition but follow the age old things 200 years back people ate they were well off today we have more knowledge but our health is worse right regarding the pandemic there is nothing that builds up immunity except the body's overall strength and your genes and being exposed to the infection so immunity right. there are no shortcuts for it cleanliness those typical masks sanitization hand washing social distancing that is most important right and while we are at that question on the pandemic there is this huge whatsapp forwards that are going that you know and i'm sure you've got multiple of them and your, a lot of your patients would have asked you to that kids are more susceptible to the second wave of covid and somebody's actually asked that um as well so what's your take on that is that something that parents need to be really concerned about or is that just a forward or no so disclaimer i am no longer into infectious medicine as a pediatrician so don't yeah. take my final word on covid illness yeah but i do see in my friends uh, pediatrics that yes we are seeing children uh, uh, getting more easily diagnosed these days it could also be because we don't want to take chances and we are diagnosing them as the same time there is some amount of talk amongst our peer group that some of the children are having a little more uh, relatively more uh, noticeable disease symptoms than in the first wave where we didn't have any symptoms at all now it's too early in the second wave to say whether it's a new development so i don't think you need to worry about it but what is very important is masking social distancing and uh, sanitation and the adults who are being given vaccines to take the vaccine i think do that if you have any problem with the kid please consult a good pediatrician please Absolutely. talk to the pediatrician all of them are available on whatsapp official business whatsapp mode and you can pay them and they can charge you or whatever but have an official right. consultation so whatsapp is not your consultant please keep that in mind yeah yeah i think that's very well said uh and i think everybody needs to take um, you know consultation and counseling specific to them and not treat uh general whatsapp messages like consultation like uh, doctor said how can we not put our anxiety and frustration cause of the times around to our children very good question i wanted to say this if you hadn't read it it's very important i congratulate you that you are appreciating the fact that you are also anxious fantastic Absolutely. that's the first step then you will know how to deal with it so i congratulate you ma'am for having thought of this and being so cool to say this because it's cool to be honest and it's stupid to hide under stigma and all that you need to know how to deal with your anxiety yourself and there could be reasons good enough reasons for your anxiety it could be something related to the work it could be related to the profession it could be related to finances it could be related to health the people to address your anxiety are first jo hum umar kehte hai ya people of our age or our friend circle or our friends or our peers because we often find the best solace in talking to our peers or of course before that to our people at home to your partner to your husband spouse or people who are your friends speaking it out is sometimes very commonly the 50 60% of the relief you just get when you speak it to somebody and then taking an opinion from two three people talking about it will always give you a way out and even if not just ventilating it is a good way to get rid of your frustration i'll tell you what we've been doing we've been just gung ho with our school uh, gang all of us are full time and we have a school whatsapp group and they're all over the world so it doesn't stop beeping because somebody across the world is be 
and they just write some utter nonsense and it's total fun some of them are watching this also it's fun it's a total stress buster so these things are something that we can do but do not avoid two things one the importance of very good sleep and good hours of sleep because again uh, watching late night series and serials can trouble you on that and second is good physical exercise you need to pack this both in good amount of sleep and good physical exercise because even physical exercise has been shown to decrease the amount of anxiety and frustration that we have so the one more question my son is 3 years old uh, that one and hasn't started yeah. speaking yet 3 years old hasn't started speaking yet you need to get him into a consultation especially because the lady said that he also has epilepsy so children with epilepsy and developmental problems are a special subset you need to see that you go to a person who writes down a opinion on a piece of paper are he will talk late or is a boy or i will get him to talk or her to talk don't fall for such things or if somebody gives you a diagnosis that yes ma'am your child has speech and language delay it's like telling it's like you going to the doctor and saying ki doctor mere bachche ko bukhar hai and the doctor putting on his glasses and saying yes your child has fever don't fall for that they need to tell you what is the reason why your child is not speaking go to somebody who can write on a piece of paper and sign below that yes it's my considered medical opinion this is what your child has and then follow what advice they give you just right. like you're doing for the epilepsy part and show right Do no that for the developmental part Gita, you need to consult with a specialist on on that and perhaps you can reach out to dr delvai uh, uh, on his handle soon after because i think that's more prescriptive in nature her 7 year old boy is stubborn and does not want to study i just widen that i don't want to be that specific but we seen kids have a stubborn perspective and uh you know we're constantly saying do this do this it's become a very transactional relationship with our children in many ways during the pandemic so any uh, any um, feedback for the parents i'll say less for the children but anything with the parents that we can do to reduce the transactional nature and and make and get our way to get them to do what we actually want them to do that's clearly because we are only focusing on getting certain things done we have forgotten that there is a life within the pandemic as well and there are so many enjoyable things that you can do as well so if you put the enjoyable as well as not the not so enjoyable things together and if you organize your time around it and you make a nice time table or a schedule around it where all of you do the enjoyable as well as not the enjoyable preferably first do the not enjoyable part so much i mean that's what david scott speck wrote, uh, wrote years back in his the road less travel get the uh, not so charming unpleasant stuff out of the way first but then keep a time where you will sit together and have the pleasant uh, stuff also to share so i think it's a mixed bag and this is the best time to teach your children what is life going to be always it's not going to be a smooth sailing the last couple of i mean maybe at least the last decade you are getting into this nonsense about parenting being being subservient to your children this was ridiculous i think in a it's a good wake up signal that hey get get rough and tough and get your children to understand the reality and not live in a bubble i talked about making a bubble for special needs children there is a bigger bubble for regular children not typically growing children as well i don't yeah. see the reason for that i don't see the reason to send your child to a school in a you know mercedes only necessarily i mean even if you have you may have two mercedes may god give you a third also that's my prayer for you but don't make your child feel that i mean it's both right to have mercedes because god forbid if something goes wrong and from a mercedes you have to come down to say a honda or something it might be uh, the child might contemplate suicide for that you never know because for him mercedes is the most basic minimum thing in life so right. take it only half in jest but don't take it totally in jest either because there is a very serious message in it let your children be used to the least common denominator not to the top common denominator it all I mean i have always say this that i i tell parents that may god bless you with all the prosperity uh, that you desire but there's no need to make your child aware that you've been blessed with all the prosperity that you have no need at all let your child think that there is a little bit of adversity that is going up in because that's very clearly what's going to make the child stronger and prepare for a tougher time and going to make him tougher that's very right. important virtual uh, increase in virtual autism due to the pandemic situation um, especially in the under 2 year old if you want to take that one so i don't know what is virtual autism but yeah, i was i suppose what the child i told you about the child in the morning yes. that i saw in the morning that if right. the child is exposed to or cut away from social interaction it's going to be exposed to the digital media and only the animations and cartoons and then 
he thinks that these this these cartoons are my real family and the guys around here who happen to be my biological parents are actually my virtual parents but the virtual family is my real family and you got the kid confused it's another case of abcd like what we used to say so that's what we are seeing now because children are more tuned towards their gadgets and they do not know how to behave with their chacha and mama because they've never been enough with the chacha and mama and when they do go to the chacha's mama's house also all of you are sitting down and watching on your own mobile phones so if you call this virtual autism then at least i will accept that there is a lot of you go to a restaurant today I mean, don't go today there's curfew in mumbai but if you go to a restaurant you'll find four people on their own mobile and what's the point going to a restaurant then so right. where is the social interaction and the social uh, communication and the singing together and the dancing together and the playing together that's missing and if that's missing your child will obviously show poor social communication and interaction and that may not be genetic that may be acquired and if you want to give it a term called virtual autism then do it i would prefer you don't use the word at all but understand right. what's happening the last one which is not related to anything but i still want to take this question which is by charming desert rose because i know you'll have a fabulous answer to this and there will be a lot of anecdotes there so i'm deliberately taking this uh, she writes how to make my 3 year old daughter who's not very smart in comparison to other children how do i make her smart and what should we expect from my 3 year old so i want your don't make your her, take on that don't make her smart make her charming it's good enough who who said smarter is better than charming charming is always better charming wins every day so it's not needed for her to buy, i am mean, so on a serious note what do you mean by smart so now let me look at it very seriously from as a development pediatrician point of view if at all you say that your child doesn't know how to behave in that situation for example if she needs to go and buy something three year old i mean some transactional thing she doesn't know how to deal with it she goes to a birthday party she doesn't know what are the rules of the game so to speak or whatever are happening there or how to behave in that particular situation in short she cannot adapt to the level at which other children of her age are adapting in different situations that's a problem of her inability to adapt in the situation that could be a learning problem or an intellectual problem and if you see that clearly in all situations then it's definitely we need to think in terms of her intellectual development but if you feel that at some places the child is not performing as per the peers it could also be because of anxiety it could be because the child is not happy being in that situation or it could be because that day she's got a tummy ache or her nose is blocked or her ears are aching so it's what you see over a period of time and in different situations so if you feel that she's lagging behind all peers in terms of intellectual adaptation to the situation jo minimum hona chahiye us situation pe she can't follow the rules other kids follow the rules say a few explain to them twice she needs to be explained five times and this is not just in one game at one place in every situation everywhere then you need to be sure about her intellectual capacity again that's where the development of pediatrician a professional will come in but if you feel that she is somebody who is mufat who will say what she wants where she wants you can tell her look if you do this see what was the result and not right away maybe after a couple of days and that person may not like what you said or that person may go away and then that person may not like to share with you or be as a friend with you let her realize that okay i need to be more diplomatic or not she says no i don't care i have point of view i'll give my point of view great then let her be the way she is if that's what you mean by not being smart then you mean not being diplomatic that's okay that's a child's nature personality what you may have Uh, thank you so much for always supporting us and uh, and sharing all the amazing stuff that you always do and and being so vocal about uh, about so many issues that modern day parents are facing because it really really helps us and all the best i'm and, sure we'll be able to write this through bye bye thank and thanks you. again thank to you, you so mansi and tiktok press bye